What's going on, man? You know what? Craziest thing. I just remembered this. It's the perfect time to remember it, too. You know, even though every month should be ours. But I uh, I went to school in middle school. I was, I think I was 13 at the time. Just about to go into high school the next year or whatever. But I rode the school bus with this dude. His name was Vince, and he was 12 years old. He was 12 years old. He was a clown, too, man. He was just just fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was he was a person a lot of people made fun of, but he was just a fun dude. You know, he was just a kid. But this same dude, which I never would have knew, even back then I found out just afterwards, Vincent was a genius. <laughs> he was a complete genius. He went to college. He went to state. He went to North Carolina Central. He went to North Carolina Central the next year. I think he graduated at like maybe 16 or something. I'm talking about a complete genius. And I didn't even know I was right there around him. Would have never thought. I am so proud of you guys. You know what? I'm really proud of this DeKalb County student, too, because I am telling you what. He has done something great. He's 12 years old, and he is in college. You heard me right. DC TV's Wardrikus Britton has the story. This ain't Vincent. <laughs> Trust me, this not him. I didn't know him. Meet 12-year-old Steven Stadler. He may look like the everyday average show, but many call him a child prodigy. It may have something to do with the fact that Steven was able to do third grade math at the age of two. When we first moved here, I, I was in kindergarten. And after, I tried that for a year, but it, it was boring. And then my mom found out that I could do multiplication and division. When we were working at home, so after I think that year in kindergarten, she um she started homeschooling me. It wasn't just Steven's mother on the job. His older sister Marty was helping to teach a few things herself. She is basically the reason I'm here, right right now, because when I was like two and three, she when she, like when she would come back home from school. We would get bored, so she would play school. And she taught me addition and some, a little bit of subtraction. And then I started doing two comedy when I was three. It was fun. Like, we used to just play around, and I was having fun while we were doing it. Stephen's final attempt at traditional elementary school was at the age of nine in the fourth grade, which was unsuccessful. His parents then had a difficult decision to make. It was a great school. They were fabulous. But for some reason, once again, it, he, it wasn't being reflected in the classroom. Now, I don't know if it because he had friends there and he was distracted. So my husband, you know, we need to just pull him. And that's when we started to homeschool him. Just, and we've been doing that ever since then. And then Morehouse came. Two years after being pulled from conventional school, Stephen was on the campus of Morehouse College taking algebra and pre-calculus, earning the highest score in his class and even tutoring a few of his classmates. Some students may have panicked from the pressure, but Stephen has his own little strategy. For me, I just, I don't view the people. I view the lesson. So, for me, it would be like any other 12 or 13 year old going to seventh grade, going to middle school. I just go to a different spot. This is my first semester with him, and I was kind of surprised when he walked through the door. He's been just one of the guys, that's why. Uh, not a lot of differentiating between the other ones. He, he comes to class, participates, he interacts with the guys, they all interact with him. And they all, based on what I've seen, they just accept him as another student. The mother of Stephen and Marty, Michelle Stafford, is an acceleration coach by trade who wanted to create an online community for parents to help restore their child's love for learning as well as a resource for accelerated education. And from that, Mocha Charm was born. Mocha Charm was created by Mrs. Stafford, who started working... I think that's enough for that one right there. But just to let you see... I ain't crazy when I say I went to school with a genius myself. 